Carlo is a alive person. You even <laughs> you even said Carl tried to do all well, kind of thing to make you come back to the person you know. Carl was a woman. Backwater. Build things around the house. Really, me want a job. And that's all the base plan for me to help me out. And he was coming to a job interview, right? Yes, ma'am. He just got the job interview. For me choosing. For me choosing. And that day he had a joyful spirit that he will get it and what all he will do when he get the job. I'll call talk about is do better for himself trying to find a job, trying to find a way out, out of the, like, the struggling. And Carl's identity as someone who strived for a better life is a product of the loving relationship he shared with his mom. From Carl Young, I talked to Carl what life is all about and how, if it be in a life, I always talk to Carl about bad people, good people, you know. To be respectable, carry self respectable, not give no trouble, and he not all about him. But somebody did do him wrong, and not just one somebody, four or five people, one of whom was an adult. But one day after the teenager's death, we're learning more about its possible motive. Reliable reports are that Carl had received a death threat, but that was months ago. A spat of hard talking over a girl who may have liked Carl, but who had a very jealous ex. Carl's mom says she started fearing for his safety while watching him walk home across the area's London Bridge. He'd get to a specific spot on the path and all the lights would go out. After that, she told him to start switching up his timing. But none of it helped. And today, Shana Allen finds herself grieving and wanting only what any other mother in her position wants. I like the idea as that of the justice in my son. He was the only one I had on my side. The only one was see me when I did go through my pain. The only one who copes me when i sick, when i depressed. Only we only have each other. Sharice Halso, 7 News.